So I guess we're live. I hope so. Poggers, yes, I can see myself. Hey, what's up, boys and girls and everything in between? It's your boy, Zonorous. And apparently it is hackathon tradition at this point that I'm the third run of the marathon. I hope we keep no. this tradition. It was, it was coincidence. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Bet me in my belief, Sajiki. I mean, who? I don't know who did the schedule, but they definitely didn't do it on purpose. Let me, let me believe. The third slot. Let me believe that it is tradition, okay? Yeah, it is tradition at this point. You're right. See, you heard him. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, what's up, guys? Um, like I said, it's a boys on us uh, with um, Uncharted. Maybe you've seen me run this game before. Maybe not. And uh, yeah, maybe. You have heard already, got a commentator this time around. It's the lovely man himself, Hachti. What's up, friend? Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'll be doing uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Uh, any percent, no airwalk, no launches technically, but forget about that. So, uh, yeah, we don't need launches. They're too hard anyway. So yeah, timer starts in just a second. I know we had no um, incentive for this. So no donut drake this time around. But uh, just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna use a different skin anyway. Let's see. Um, rewards, skins. And just for the fact that you're using it, I think people should donate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's my yeah. opinion. Don't quote me on that and probably plenty of others. So. Okay, Hutch, what do you want to see? I don't mind. You you pick because I think they're all just as good except Donut is better. Yeah, but everybody always gets to see Donut Drake, so let's uh let's take wetsuit drink. Which is gonna be no difference in the first chapter, but okay. So yeah, timer starts in uh, three, two, one, go. Whoop whoop! So hey, hello yeah. friends. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So if you never heard of this game, this is the first game in the Uncharted series. Maybe you have heard of the Uncharted series, hopefully. It's a pretty cool PlayStation exclusive franchise featuring man himself, Nathan Drake, this lovely fella here. And yeah, it's basically Indiana Jones the video game minus Indiana Jones. Kind of. Nathan Drake is kind of... he's similar-ish. Mm, so yeah. yeah. We hunt treasure, we kill bad guys, we um, make funny one-liners. Stuff like that. Also, the speedrun of this game is chock full with interesting glitches, except for kind of the first chapter. First chapter is kind of boring, but uh, we'll get to there. I think, objectively, every single Uncharted game has got a really boring first chapter. That's a fair assessment, yes. So, in this first <laughs> chapter, you're on this excavation boat thing, kind of, with a with a girl called Elena and you find the treasure at the bottom of the sea kind of and after you find it you get attacked by some pirates and so the goal of this chapter is kind of to avoid the pirates getting on the ship like this guy he did it unfortunate and then there's the big ship there and now we just gotta wait so the best part is they don't actually climb out of the water they just warp out of it and then climb up the ship okay, that's not good. Video game thing. <laughs> so at this point there's not much i can do except waiting so i guess i can showcase this here there's one glitch you never get to see me do during the rest of the run and i mess it up that's why <laughs> i never use it <laughs> so whenever you behind the cover you can like slightly go towards one direction or the other and can like clip into things but yeah don't worry about it. so yeah this chapter game two. is just all about the clipping exactly chapter two is where kind of the fun begins and yeah don't worry about drake still having his uh diving suit because that's the skin that i selected because why not that's his normal daily clothes yeah no. i mean i also walk around with these clothes daily except for when i'm doing a speedrun marathon 
pictures? <laughs> I'll post them later on Twitter. Ooh, ads on errors. <laughs> Maybe not. So yeah, first little thing is just minor thing. Um, there are two different movement techniques, I guess. Uh, in the game, so what you see me do is like do these little hops. Turns out they're just tiny, little bit faster than normal walking. And Mr. Drake here has like two different modes he's in, like combat, combat state, and not combat. Whenever he's not in combat, he like has his casual jogging, and when he's in combat, he actually runs. So when you're in actual combat, you don't have to do the hopping because the actual run is faster than the hopping but when you're in casual jogging mode you uh, gotta do the jumps you gotta do a yeah do something for your fitness and jump around i guess don't skip like the thing. best part about that hopping animation as well is that if you just spam the jump button um it's actually a tiny bit slower than timing it um which is really strange but yeah there's a T tiny fraction of animation that's a little bit slower if you just spam the button as opposed to timing it kind of so yeah let's yeah. get into the real meat and potatoes of the speedrun i guess so coming up is the first time i'm gonna use the the major game breaking glitch of this game and before i'm do gonna do any explanation i'm just gonna show you because it's a pretty cool glitch so you have this super big like stone wall gate and I'm doing some stuff, and hey, we're through the gate. Magic. Crazy. Why, that's not a glitch, that's an intended mechanic. Sure, we can go with that. <laughs> so you want to explain how this intended game mechanic works? It's really strange. Um, <laughs> basically, you line Nate up against the wall that you want to clip, and whilst holding the left stick in the direction that you're going, um, you spam the aim button um, in a consistent fashion. And as uh, in terms of the PS4 doing it, um, you have to be a little bit quicker to spam the button to be able to clip quickly. Um, on the PS3, you could do it a, bit, a, little, a little bit slower, and it's all down to the uh, frames, because on the PS4, it's 60 frames as opposed to uh, FPS as opposed to 30 FPS on the PS3. So yeah, that's the main mechanic, but there's only certain walls that you can do it on quite consistently. Um, there's some walls where there's like double layers that make it more difficult to clip through them, but yeah, that's that's really the main mechanic of this one. There are other there are other glitches in the game. A lot but of on them. this category, you don't really do them. Technically, there is one that you can do, and I would never recommend it because it will break your hands. <laughs> Literally. And uh, yeah, the, first, the the second chapter of this game is a really cool chapter to showcase this glitch because it's basically just a really long hallway of sealed doors and gates which you need to do either a puzzle or some climbing or something to open the gate or the door or whatever you have. And uh, yeah, it's a great showcase that you can just go through all of them which is super great. Um, yeah. What else? Um, well, I exactly. suppose this, <laughs> well, this, this next clip coming up, I don't know if you want me to explain how it works or doesn't work. Sure, <laughs> go depending. ahead. Go ahead. Um, so normally you, uh, without doing this skip, um, you would have to swim over to a cliff climb up this cliff go all the way round to the other side of this boat and then climb up and climb in through the roof but what zon's about to do is he's going to clip into the a rock into the side of the boat um now depending on the angle in which you go into this clip is depending on whether or not you soft lock the game um, and, or hard lock the game, should I say, in the case of the blue screen. Because if you go through at the wrong angle with the camera aimed in the wrong direction, it will crash the game. It's always done that since the PS3 era. But yeah, um, this skips a large climbing portion, so it's it's actually quite, um, it's quite a good skip. Yep, it's pretty cool. For some reason, there's this, this, this checkpoint just at the very bottom. 
and it has it, it must have like a pretty big like radius and how you can touch it because you never get to be at like the very bottom of the the tip or like there where i was kind of so it's kind of weird that you can activate it over there well i think in testing if if i remember correctly the the checkpoint actually covers the entire back of that ship depending on where you clip in from the bottom so it is quite large so i'm not sure why they've made it that big but thanks naughty dog for making it this big <laughs> hey if you're a game dev make your checkpoints bigger speedrunners will appreciate it exactly at some point. so yeah, after you clip into this u-boat or this boat or whatever uh you have to do a little kind of boring semi auto scroller section where nate just walks around I think there's three cutscenes or two cutscenes in this thing and the rest you just walk around and have some funny dialogue and some one-liners I guess yeah but other than that like in terms of speedrunning literally nothing interesting happens in here which is uh kind of good that it's at the very start of the run I guess so you can get it out of your system like instantly yeah, until you get that blue screen for not clipping the boat properly. <laughs> yes, if you're an unexperienced runner and you your game crashes every time there, and you don't know why, and you want to you, you're molding and like you want to quit the game, yes, happened to me. Just have your camera at the right angle, and the game won't crash. Easy fix. <laughs> yeah. There was one point I got really mad at this game for not knowing exactly with the camera and stuff. Uh, I think I was the same. Um, and I think at one point while I was whilst I was learning the game, I think I pestered Matt and Greg uh, asking for <laughs> some assistance because I didn't know what I was doing. I hate this. Yeah, this clip is one of the situations where I mentioned that Jesus. clipping certain walls uh, can be a bit difficult. Sir. Normally, this is not as difficult. Actually, screw this. So yeah, let's go casually. Uh, on a normal speed run, if he was to fail to clip that, then obviously running through here would just be beneficial anyway because you'd lose too much time. Yeah, the but clip, you speaking, would end up here on this wall yeah. after the clip, so it's not really a that big of a time saver anyway. So if you get it on the first go, <laughs> then fine, but if you don't, then... In a way, it's not a massive deal, especially if you're first starting off. Which, by the way, if you're going to start off with an Uncharted game, this one's probably perfect because it's not that long of a speed run. And not only that, because it's got pretty much a bit of everything, really. I think it's ideal for, a, you know, a new starter to try. Yep, I, I agree. Um, versus, Oh, yeah, for the very uh, keen eyes in chat... You might recognize this area and it's we're basically doing chapter two but in reverse now and instead of glitching through a million doors now there are some uh, actual little guys here that we can fight so i guess this is a perfect moment to talk about the explorer difficulty yeah so in like hutch mentioned earlier that this is the playstation 4 version of the game um initially this game came out in the ps3 era and Naughty Dog decided to make a collection of all three Uncharted games, or the, the first three, I guess, and put them into one game. Whoops. And yeah, that's called the uh, Nathan Drake collect the Na something collection. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan Drake, Drake collect collection. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, they uh, put some new things in the game, and one of them is the Explorer difficulty. And basically, the Explorer difficulty is very, very easy, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's almost weird, the jumping difficulty, because even on easy difficulty, um, it doesn't take long for you to take a, an excessive amount of damage. And die. Yeah, the Explorer yeah. difficulty is basically for somebody who has never played a video game in their life. Kind of. Pretty much. Because one very beneficial thing you get from uh, this is you get auto-aim, essentially. Yeah. That's why you uh, might have seen me 
easily one-shot guys all over the place without really aiming. So whenever you aim and there's a bad guy even like slightly in range, the cursor will automatically target that guy anyway. So which is uh, pretty cool. There's only one downside to that, but that's just in one tiny chapter and it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, that's one thing. The second thing is like this game has more FPS. This is a 60 FPS game compared to the 30 FPS of the PS3 game, which in most cases is not a big deal. It makes some of the tricks slightly harder, but it's not that big of a deal. And uh, you also get faster loading times, of course, which is just a straight up yep. win. And the last thing is the photo mode, which if you have played a PlayStation 4 game in like the last two years, you probably know what that is. So you can just pause the game everywhere, zoom around, apply some filters and all that cool stuff and make cool screenshots. And um, it's pretty good for the run because you can artificially pause the game and load certain areas which are not supposed to be loaded, which is awesome. Yep. And that will be coming up as well. There is one instance in particular that that's required, so... Yep. And uh, yeah, anyway, so we're in Chapter 4 now. And Chapter 4 is pretty cool, kind of. So you saw me at the very start of the chapter to, uh, to glitch through the gate there. What you're supposed to do is to shoot off, like, the, the lockpick or something there on the gate. Um, okay, sure. Let's climb up there. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Video gaming. Video gaming. So yeah, and you saw me shoot up. And now you're supposed to shoot the lock and open the door that way. Um, but you can just glitch through the wall. And what that does is that the game still believes that you were at the starting point. Because shooting, shooting the lock is kind of the trigger for the game to know, okay, the player has progressed through the starting zone. And by not doing that, you will not spawn any enemies here. I think there would have been like three or four arenas at, at this point where there would have been like a bazillion guys that I would have needed to fight in order to progress. But uh, yeah, because the game still believes that I'm at the start of the chapter, I can ignore all of that. That also comes with a kind of a little downside though, which is, and I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but the downside is, the game still thinks that I'm at the start of the level. So if I would to die anywhere, that would set me back right to the start of the level, which would not be very good. This is why this area scares me, because... Yeah, this is why I... has got some very janky climbing me uh, mechanics at yeah. the best of times. And sometimes Nate will literally just jump okay. in whatever direction he feels it. like it. We save. Hey. So here on this bridge, there's for some reason there's kind of a hard-coded checkpoint where the game doesn't care if which checkpoints you activate and which not. There's just kind of a hard-coded one there, and yeah, so we're safe. If I die anywhere, I'm at the middle of the bridge again or somewhere. So yeah, that's that's kind of pog. Fun fact, actually, about which uh, obviously. <laughs> Just to demonstrate my point here. See, I'm back here. Hey. <laughs> um, fun fact that this game has actually got most of its checkpoints actually available for you to trigger later on in the game. So like one of the other um, categories for this game, which includes the air walking, um, you can essentially walk from chapter four or do the air walking from chapter four until like chapter, I think it's 12. 13 or um, uh, 12 yeah and it takes i think it's about five six minutes if i remember correctly you yeah. just walk into oblivion into nothing and the checkpoint is just there at chapter 12 so you've skipped all of that um but in order to do that particular category you need to use um you need to use slow mode and um and fast mode so which you can only That's unlock after playing the game at least yeah. once, so it's kind of a new game plus thing. So yeah, coming up is a glitch we get to see once, I guess, or maybe twice? Uh, yeah, it is once. Yeah, it's just once, 
and it's kind of useful but uh you only get to see it here because the the clipping is just so universally applicably good that every other glitch is kind of <laughs> trash in comparison so what you will see me doing is there's this cool explosive barrel here and if i take cover behind what okay sure. oh, okay i never seen that there we go so yeah you see me take cover behind the barrel and I jump over the barrel and that way I jump directly out of bounds. So so it I... turns out the trees don't exist behind the barrel, so <laughs> Yeah I guess After the you've climbed over it. Yeah, I guess the explanation is whenever you jump over cover, Nate loses kind of his collision or something. Or something uh, like that. Yeah. I'm not a video game developer, but Yeah. His animation does change because sometimes if you climb over cover um, you can actually walk on an invisible platform for probably about a frame or two Oops. and and theoretically you can then jump from that as well so you can get an extra bit of distance it's really weird how they coded um, that I'm actually massively surprised that nobody blew up the barrel for that long I oh, know yeah that's that barrel's a bit notorious yeah it's a little bit for, rng um, sometimes runs. the guys in the arena if they miss you they can blow up the barrel which is not that big of a deal because there is a crate a little bit further in the arena where you can do the same and the thing it is not exploding but yeah by the way here's some magic or not <laughs> hello Clank? there okay <laughs> that would have been magic i mean the game the magic is no. still there, okay? The thing apparated <laughs> out of nowhere, okay? Still counts. Shut up. <laughs> so, yeah, because um, because of the skip earlier with the barrel, I guess the game didn't have time to properly l load in this huge-ass fortress here. So I guess it just does it when you... I'm about to start climbing it, which is kind of interesting. Looks funny. I think we've had a donation. Did um, we? I believe so. What 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 told you this such? I don't know. <laughs> I should look at Discord whenever Sajiki joins. That's probably a cue for <laughs> for donation. No, so I'm, I... also, I'm also just spying on you. Uh huh. Oh, okay. But yeah, sure. there is in fact a, just a little donation that I won't take long. I promise. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's an anonymous five dollar donation saying Juanita bad, <laughs> which I don't agree with. Uh, I agree. Juanita. No, 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 no. I do. Look, Juanita <laughs> won last year, so that means they're clearly better. <laughs> Actually, both. Well, Juan also won last year, so... That's even worse. Yeah, that is that is referring to, in case you didn't know, that is referring to the two relay races we have in the marathon. One is tomorrow at approximately this time. One is Sunday at this time. Should I shut up? No, go ahead. Okay, so <laughs> maybe yeah, there was something coming up. I oh, know. Uh, yeah, and there, was, there, there are two teams, uh, Juan and Carlos, Juanita and Carl Carla. And you can donate towards those because uh, whichever team has more donations will be bias the commentary towards that team and bash the other one. So, being an ex Juanita, I don't like this donation. But yeah, <laughs> being an ex Carlos, I like this donation. <laughs> so yeah, hashtag Team Carlos and Carla. I guess is the female one, right? Yes. Hashtag Team Carlos and Hashtag Team Carla. Let's go. Um, yeah, I guess in terms of the speedrun here, nothing really important happened. We ignored some bad guys that tried to kill us and are bad at it. And um, yeah. <laughs> we did some glitching. I mean, yeah, essentially what Zondam was, he clipped a gate that you would normally... There's a long section that you would go through and, and kill a bunch of enemies um to actually make it through and then this section normally has um a bunch of enemies that are spawning from tunnels um that you would normally kill but um what zon did was he because he'd clipped the gate actually to be fair the enemies do spawn on this on ps3 you would normally avoid it because it's much more difficult but on this because the enemies don't know what they're doing um, and they're so damn easy, yeah. you, you just climb up and then you clip through the gate, but you have to clip back 
inside because if you don't it doesn't trigger the um, next area properly and you have to use the crank to get through there is something called the crank skip but it's very very precise don't do it um yeah and it is very awkward as well but it would save a good bunch of time but essentially if you was to do the crank skip um it means that you can avoid doing like two two lots of crank essentially so you only end up doing one which ends up doing the whole lot which makes the water rise and then you can get to the next checkpoint yep so yeah we're in chapter six now chapter six is kind of meh um, because technically you could already go to towards the end of the chapter but unfortunately the uh, the end trigger for the chapter is not really there which is kind of unfortunate and so you have to go through this hallway of death and destruction and despair at least Don't in the, <laughs> at least in the playstation 3 version it was the tunnel of uh, agony but in the ps4 on, on explorer difficulty it's kind of okay so on PS3, it was like kind of RNG if you are able to go through the tunnel without dying because of all the guys there. But uh, yeah, as you've seen, we're Gucci. To be fair, on the odd occasion, going through that tunnel there, even on this difficulty, if you get punched by any of the guys because their pathing had changed last second and they walk into you, it's very, it can, you can die very easily because the shotgun guys do a hell of a lot of damage. So, no. did you just say no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've had many a run die there. I think I haven't. Mm, all right. <laughs> Maybe I'm just lucky, I guess. I don't know. It's all the cheating that you do in this game, I think, you know. Must have Going been. through walls, Damn it. big old cheater you are. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, this jump exists. Oh, that was... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could take... I shouldn't laugh, but... <laughs> yeah, this... This jump is way harder than it looks, okay? Can't... Oh, it's quite, it quite precise, actually. You have um... to jump at, like, very late, when you're, like, already off the thing, and the, the middle thing's not blocking you. Holy crap. Let me get this, please. Okay, he did a 360 midair to grab the thing. Okay, that's <laughs> that's great. Hashtag uncharted things. There was one run I did ages ago, and someone clipped it where um, I failed this bit about three times, but one after the other. I'd got to a certain point, launched to the ground essentially. <laughs> On the next breath, I think I launched in another direction. On the final breath, I I went to jump, and he just threw himself down to the ground again. And I think I, I threw a wobbly at that point and threw my controller on the floor. <laughs> Hi. So what were you looking for? Fun and games. Speed running. Yep. Speed run. It's fun until it's not. Exactly. That's my motto. It's very good. So yeah, coming up is kind of a cool... I mean, in terms of speed running, it's a bad chapter. But in terms of like showcasing, it's kind of cool. I always enjoy this. Um, so this is kind of the auto scroller section of the game, chapter 7. And uh, yeah, you're just in this truck and you just shoot all the bad guys. At least that's what you're supposed to do. If you're playing on the explorer difficulty and you just kill the first three enemies here, you can yeet your controller somewhere and just kind of enjoy the rest of the auto scroller by, uh, yeah. Or, if you're a horrible person and like deforestation, you can shoot the trees down. It doesn't work with all the trees, though. No, not all the trees. But fun fact, there is a couple of trees in this game that if you shoot them down while well, they get hit by one of the trucks, if it hits you, you will die. Oh, really? No, yeah. I didn't know. It's <laughs> happened to me, I, I know for a fact it's happened to me about two separate occasions, and it's happened to Rock as well, Rocky. Um, painful, honestly, because this is not so, the sort of section that you would expect to lose time on. By the way, for Lucky, let's get, let's see this. Yeah, it looks like they're lining up great. Come on, do it, boys. Ah, oh, no, the guy was too slow. Oh. Yeah, sometimes what can... Oh, okay, they did it anyway. <laughs> 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 they 
they are brilliant drivers, by the way. Yeah. They really. At least, know. like, just watch the screen. I'm not doing anything. I'm, like, holding out my hands. And you get to see that these guys, at some. There is one. You get to see that these guys just killed them. There is another one. Yeah, these guys are just horrible drivers. They will drive into into themselves. They will drive into walls. They will drive into trees. Um, at, at, at least, at, especially here, just watch this. There's like five guys here, four on the on the motocross, and like, bam, 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 bam. And now the I'm already laughing yeah, this guy, hours. bam. See, these guys are absolutely terrible at their job. And, uh, yeah, this is why I really like to show this off. It, it's just it makes you wonder what the driver is doing at the time because he's staring forward. Yeah, so you'd have thought he's paying attention, but nope. You're like, hey, Carl, don't you see like the stone wall in front of us? <laughs> maybe hit the brakes, hit the brakes. <laughs> or maybe not, I guess. Oh, oh wait, why that did I kill? That looks oh. so pretty. <laughs> Bang. Um. So yeah, there's more. Like my personal explanation is that these guys are there's again these guys are just kind of coded in a way that um, that there can't be too many enemies <laughs> at the screen at the same time. So if one of them is is alive for too long, they will just drive into something and die or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm so easily amused. Yeah. Will I die? Question mark. Don't, don't jinx it now. Okay, should be safe. Uh, that, that guy died as well. You heard him scream. So yeah, the if only part you actually have to do in this auto scroller is shoot out the rocks there and shoot out the one guy that is driving directly towards you. Otherwise, you will crash and game over. You don't have to kill these three guys at the end, but I always try to like snipe them off of their motorcycle cross thing. Some of those guys will actually slow down before they hit the wall and still blow up. Then they're like, oh, maybe I should... Maybe I should hit the brakes! Nah! <laughs> gotta commit. <laughs> Whenever you do something in life, you gotta commit. To do it right. Se secretly, this game was meant to be crash test dummies. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the fun in games is over. It's chapter 8 time. And chapter 8 is this sunken city or forgotten city that somebody, nobody ever found in history or something. And uh, yeah, it, it literally is sunken because part of the city is not even here, as you can see. But that might just be speedrunners going out of bounds and seeing parts of the level that nobody ever should see. But yeah, since I said the fun and games is over, it's time for jet ski sections. Hutch, thoughts mm. on on the jet ski sections? Oh, what can I say about the jet ski sections? Well, they are the best bit of programming in any <laughs> game I could ever what think of. What can you say about PG sections that is PG-13? Um, <laughs> crap. Awful. That's PG-13, ain't it? Bad. <laughs> wow, okay, oh, no. sniped, got sniped. Oh, yeah, this is one of the reasons why it's crap, and secondly, because handling the jet ski is just awful. Yeah, the controls of jet skis is really terrible. And this is the one part where I mentioned earlier where the explorer difficulty is kind of not in your favor, because you have to shoot up these explosive barrels in the water. But whenever you aim, because of the explorer difficulty, you are trying to aim at the nearest enemy, which is not the barrels, and you will <laughs> just aim at something else. And you have to slightly adjust, which is kind of whatever. It's very awkward. It's just minor time loss, but it's, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. I think sometimes you can even aim at NPCs that are actually like out of the way of the camera so they could be behind a wall and it would still aim at them i hate this camera flip so yeah the the shot i just did there that was intentional because now nate is in combat speed because i kind of sort of alerted enemies even though there there's nobody here and yeah it just lets me run fast which is cool and here's the other thing 
the, the camera mode, which I mentioned earlier as well. So we pause the game here artificially with the photo mode to load in the rest of this building. Because if I would not press like the, the photo mode, I will just fall into the abyss and die after like five minutes. Yeah. It's really strange that they've, for some reason, it, within that mode, um, the camera actually triggers the, the loading trigger for the next area. Not sure why it does that, but, it, but probably it's because it, in some ways they probably coded it to behave as though Nate was actually moving or the camera to do with Nate's hitbox was moving into that area. It's hard to say, but it's one of the only, one of maybe two or three areas where um, the game actually does that. Exactly. And yeah, it might have not seen like much, but basically we just skipped an entire chapter, which is chapter 11, uh, 9, I mean, or 10, 10, 10. Yeah, 10. Or we basically skipped 9 by uh, glitching into chapter... Dude, numbers. We just skipped the chapter, okay? That's basically <laughs> what happened. Screw the details. This game doesn't have chapters anymore. Yes. <laughs> And uh, yeah, when I after I uh, got out of the jet ski and glitched into the into the house, at that point I basically skipped an entire chapter, because in in that chapter you're trying to get into that house somehow, and you have to do a, an entire another jet ski section, where you go around, kill some stuff, and then like with some rope or something, which is super high, you like glide into the house from the top or something like that yeah. yeah but we skipped that because you know speed runners because walls are just a suggestion yep zon is coming up to the the probably one of the best sections in any game yep The second, or rather the third jet ski part. The longest one. Yes. At least this one has something kind of funny about it. And uh, yeah, let's play the, ch the chat game again. So uh, if you're play paying co close attention to your screen right now, people in chat, you might see something that is a little bit off. That doesn't make sense. That is... Uh, Unconventional. If and anyone uh, can guess what that is, yes. Then you win. You win the internet. There you go. <laughs> you win <laughs> internet points. <laughs> no, I will call you a cute person. There you go. That's always a good thing. So yeah. Anybody sees anything on your screen that it looks like a glitch, but is actually not a glitch? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Someone might have it. Let's hit wait in chat. Thinking emojis. Yeah, I guess nobody's writing currently in chat because everybody is is thinking super hard right now. Possibly. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, still Might got not be immediately obvious, but in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> it, 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 it actually is. <laughs> okay, oh. survived! Saved! That was close. You usually get one shot there, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. sure how I just survived that. Yes, someone got it. Hey, so <laughs> list. You are cute. So, yeah, <laughs> some people figured it out. Elena basically has infinite ammo. And this is not a glitch. I didn't do anything to make this happen. This is sort of intended. W well, she has one of those kinda. special guns. I think, like, developer intended, like, the one thing you can't do is you can't aim, drive, and shoot at the same time. In order to aim, you need to, like, go off the pedal and, like, slow down. 
And because there are so many explosive barrels coming through your or your way, I think the intended thing is that you just slow down, you aim, and then you shoot the barrels. Um, but uh, yeah, and obviously, which human would just drive the entire thing and just shoot constantly? Like, who would do that? That's kind of dumb. <laughs> so yeah, they. Maybe they just forgot about making like a reload animation or they just didn't bother because they thought nobody's gonna run this jet ski and just shoot constantly. That's just dumb. <laughs> nobody's gonna do that. Actually, so, there's another yeah. fun fact about the, the jet skis, you know. If you was to do the airwalk category and you airwalk to that chapter whilst in combat running speed and then you get on the jet ski and turn on fast motion, you actually fly up that river. It's almost like you have got a rocket. In fact, okay. to the point where it's quite difficult. I mean, it's bad enough trying to handle the jet ski, but when you've got two lots of speed boost, um, it's very difficult to control. Yeah, so what yeah, I just did is... Uh, yeah, I, I just did some RNG manipulation there. That death there is absolutely intended. Don't worry about it. 100%. You always do that death in exactly that specific way I did it. It's uh, it's for later. Trust me, okay? Totally I'm 100% serious. This is not a lie. I would never lie. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is chapter 13. And I never got to say this. This game has 22 chapters. And now people in chat who like math can do the math and say... I don't know what my where the timer is currently, and I don't want to know. But we're probably already like half of the timer, and but we're n not even half of the chapters. So how do we do the rest of the chapters in the f the few minutes that we got left? And uh, yeah, there's something really cool about this game, and that is chapter 13 until 21 are like all interconnected with each other. Please, sir, can you, like, not do this? I hate this game. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever got stuck there. I, normally, I just fall to my death. Well, I never failed this clip twice in a row. I mean... Always the first for everything. I mean, RNG manipulation is a... Uh, I, I messed it up the first time. I, I needed oh, to yeah. do it the second time there. Sorry. Oh, I, for, I totally forgot about yeah, the yeah. RNG manipulation. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeppers. 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 Yepper rappers. <laughs> yeah, so what I was about to say before I uh, fall to my grisly death, which is totally intended, I swear to God, this is not a lie. 100%. Swear on my mom. Maybe not. So yeah, chapter 13 until 21 are all very interconnected. And you will be see me skipping from chapter to chapter rather easily. Assuming I can make this... Totally not difficult jump that I failed twice. Which is RNG manipulation. It's like so. the hardest jump in the game. What are you talking about? Yes, that's why I needed to do RNG manipulation twice. Exactly. You're manipulating Nate's legs so that yeah. they actually reach. Yeah, that he has a slightly higher jump. Nope. Let's take it slow. There we go. Hardest jump See, in the game, I swear. That manipulation was clearly yeah, paid off. what was needed. Yeah. yeah. So you basically manipulate the RNG that Nate jumps like a tiny little bit higher so you can jump up there. If you don't do that, you you see what happened. Let's just find someone yeah, to get yeah. the hell out of here. Totally not making this crap up on the spot right now. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Speaking of, uh, Tom Rich donated $14 and says, quote unquote, intended mechanics. <laughs> Exactly. And True. it was worth those fourteen dollars. Worth totally worth, yes. <laughs> and I think that should be doubled to be honest. And by the way, here's more intended mechanics. Nate just heading into the light is perfectly normal. Yep, and we're already at chapter fifteen. This clip here is really awkward. Because the angle of the wall is a bit strange. Yep. So normally you're not... Like the chapter starts 
I mean, you just saw the, the chapter 15, like, glow up. This is where the chapter starts. And, like, I just clipped through the gate, and we're now kind of at the end of the chapter. And t technically, that gate is never, ever supposed to even be, like, opened in any way. You're supposed to go to, like, a cathedral rooftop or something, do some climbing and some puzzling. And then from the rooftop, you climb down into this graveyard. But, hey, clipping is a thing in this game. You just clip through the gate and ignore all of that. Again, totally intended. Intended mechanics. If it wasn't intended, they wouldn't have let By you the way, this is also intended here. on the later games. Yeah, watch this. When it opens... There we go. It opens into... Bright the light. light. <laughs> it's the passageway to heaven. Come into the light, Nathan. No yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, kind of what happened... Like, because you skip stuff... The part behind the puzzle is not really loaded and it's just, it's just blank, just white, nothing there. there and yeah, already skip. chapter 16, by the way. There is a skip that you can do there that we call the puzzle skip. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And for some people it's quite notorious that it's quite a, a big loss if you fail it because um, where you're skipping large portions of the actual chapters, um, again, the same scenario as to when you was back in Chapter 4. Um, because you've not hit those triggers, it actually takes you quite far back. Um, essentially, if you fail Puzzle Skip, it's more than likely that you failed the run. Um, yep. Because you can fall to your death quite easily. But it's, it's quite precise, it needs specific angles. And you can jump into the Puzzle Room, but load up the next chapter. And you, and you keep your combat speed, so you can run through this section. By the way, talking about intended mechanics, here's another one. Or not. <gasps> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it. That sometimes happens, but not that often that it's worth mentioning. Damn. Yeah. Okay, let's try again. More intended mechanics. This so is something I mentioned about earlier with uh, jumping over cover. Yeah, this is but another one that, that has to do with jumping over cover. Yeah, the first time we just jump over cover into out of bounds, and this time around, when it actually works, <laughs> buttons on the controller are too hard. Yeah, what happens is you just do a jump mid air, gives you basically a double jump, which is kind of nice. And before you continue talking, let's listen to this absolutely awesome, unskippable cutscene with the best voice acting you have ever heard back in 2000 whenever this game came out. Hey, Bule! Last man alive gets the gold. You lose. <laughs> Kill them both. You lose. What cranks me up is, is the laugh. It's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's like, what? Who laughs like that, man? So yeah, this is one battle that we can't really skip, unfortunately. But the good thing we have auto-aim, kind of. If these guys would stop hiding in cover. Fight like men, you cowards. Okay. There's two grenade shooty guys. If... There's one. Isn't there a guy back here? Oh, that's Elena. Okay. Mister? Sir? There he is! Elena being useful, as usual. So yeah, you need to kill all of these guys. Um, you can make this jump earlier, but if you make this jump without killing all the guys, Elena dies or something. It's kind of weird. So I kill this guy, steal his weapon. He's not going to need it anymore, supposedly. Probably. And Who's uh, open to be buried with it? Maybe. Uncharted 1.5, Revenge of Goon. <laughs> The, the son of the goon I just killed tries to kill Nath in order to get the yeah, weapon no, back so he can buries it with his father. We never know these days. Naughty Dog could be developing something like that. Yeah. The goon side story. Hey, Naughty Dog, sign me up. I just made the perfect, perfect pitch. I got more ideas. <laughs> so yeah, chapter... 17, uh, um, yeah. This one's, um, Actually, something. Actually, want to try something? Does this work? I can't change skin. 
mid game. Is it because you're in cutscene? Probably. So yeah, Nate says this line here, you're heavier than you look. And I always find it kind of ironic when you play as Donut Rick and Nate is kind of... There's a road. I'll try um, to it down to you. That's a nice word to describe it. Um, overweight, I guess. He's slightly overweight because he ate too many donuts. And I always found it kind of funny that he says that line when you're on that skin. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so uh, Elena climbs up there and now we're left here fighting these Spanish zombie guys with our good old friend Eddie, which you totally just saw in the cutscene. The guy who just said kill them both. Um, but because of circumstances, we're currently bonding over our, our interest in staying alive against these zombie guys. Which works out really well for Eddie. Well, so far he's alive. I'm not sure what he means. <laughs> what are you talking about? So far we're well, both alive. It's all going good. And um, technically there's like a... These guys come out of the, these holes on like a rhythm. On a set pattern. But because I'm a very professional speed gamer, I forgot about it. <laughs> so I have more time to talk about stuff. So I am. Um, um, after the first round, Eddie is like, okay, buddy, was good to talk, and he just leaves. He's totally not dead, I swear. He's still alive somewhere. He just went away. He just said, okay, this adventuring life is not to me. I go back to school and study. Maybe find a nice wife, have some kids. I thought you went for a lunch break. Or, or that. Yeah, before doing the school stuff, he just takes a quick nap or something. Sitting there having a sandwich, and then he's like, "Oh, a bit tired now. Let me just, uh, let me just yeah. lay down on one Nate, of these." Nate, go uh... on. You kill the zombies while I take a little break. <laughs> I also totally forgot to show off the spin to win. Damn. Oh yeah. Actually, you forgot to explain what you did before. This yeah. Chapter's... Wait, hold on a sec. So, by the way, in. talking about Eddie. So here's Elena, by the way, and this is also the moment where we say goodbye to Elena, because you can see the. Zombie guys have already caught up to her. She's already so far behind. There's no way she's gonna survive. So F's in the chat for Elena. She was nice while she was totally not dead. Okay. And by the way, just to... This is the spin to win, by the way. Just to show it off real quick. Oh, yeah, chapter 18. Chapter 18 is pretty cool. So uh, this is the start of chapter 18. So we have this metal bar gate. And then we have this metal... Uh, ladder, I guess. And then you jump onto it. And you climb up. And the f screen fades to black. And uh, cool stuff happens. And we just skip two chapters. Can I get a pog in the chat for that? I think there should be some pogs. Yeah, this is probably the biggest skip of the game. Um, it's pretty cool. So chapter 18 and 19 are designed in a way that they're basically like a like one um, a circle kind of. The end of both is like kind of where you start, in, at least in terms of layout. But there's this metal gate just blocking your way, and if you have no way to clip through stuff, there's no way you could go there, and you would need to uh, play the games casually, quote unquote, to get there. But hey, since we have this very cool glitch. We can just glitch through the gate and uh, jump to the thing and skip two chapters, which is pretty cool. Saves a lot of time. It does indeed. So yeah, chapter 20. Uh, so yeah, we got two chapters left. Uh, the next one is going to be super short without any glitches. This is kind of awkward every time. Um, so what we do here is glitch into this table and hope he falls down the soup there we go this tiny little hole here so this is chapter 21 i think chapter 21 is the shortest chapter in the entire game because uh <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what the developers thought about this so you the chapter begins when you jump down here and then you just run down some stairs have some dialogue have a cutscene, and then you're this is kind of the epic showdown 
sort of moment with all the plot twists and reveals and that. And there's more of these zombie guys. And you just sh shoot some of them. You run up the stairs. Kill some non-zombie guy goons. Miss a shot. Kill the guy anyway. You jump onto this thing, skip cutscene, and that's the entire chapter. Not a single glitch in this chapter. Yeah, I don't know. The the earlier chapters tend to become really long or are really long and towards the end they get shorter and shorter. Maybe the marketing team of Naughty Dog was like, guys, we can't sell a game with only like 12 chapters. You gotta artificially extend those chapters in the later parts of the game so we can make it sound like more or something. I don't know. <laughs> so and yeah, just for sticking with us here, I want to show you guys off something real quick. That is super hilarious. That is not part of the run, but when you clip through this gate and you stare here, do you see this floating AK here? Just uh, in the abyss, and uh, yeah, this is uh, what uh, what you can do. This Apparently is uh, you can hold on for dear life on top of an AK, which is just hovering midair. Why yeah. this happens? I don't know. And uh, yeah, it's just a funny little thing to show off. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why it has collision. It's just funny to show off. And yeah, this is the final boss of the game. So, uh, Mr. Sujiki, get ready on time. And this is also one of the explorer difficulty things. You can just jump over here and punch this guy in the face. If you play on any other difficulty, which is not explorer <coughs> mode, you need to hover in like... You need to like cover for his like insta kill shotgun shots and be careful and wait for him to reload and stuff and that is time 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 to the time and yeah it's kind hey. of weird. so in explore difficulty you just jump over him you tank one or two hits and you just punch him in the face and it's wow. kind of weird but uh, it's cool it's cool it's cool 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 yeah, we, we got a little donation to, to end this off because Audi GG donated 7, said Zonair's fastest speedrunner in Switzerland. I have to say though, uh, unfortunately, I mean, this will be the last one <laughs> yeah. that Zonair's is on this stream because as everybody knows, every time you go overestimate on uh, hackathon runs, it's You're your banned. last time. Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. Which is weird because last hackathon I also went overestimate. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like you should have fire estimate. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had two runs last hackathon, so one was underestimate, so I guess they're bal they balanced out or something? Yeah, I mean... But we'll I don't have a second it. run this time around, so I guess I'm banned <laughs> now. When we see you next year as a third run, uh, we'll see about it, okay? If you <laughs> oh. have another, another run. Yeah, if we have like a few more seconds, I would like to show up the, the last cutscene here. Just yeah, you can, but I'll just, in good hackathon tradition, just cut you off in the middle of it, okay? <laughs> sure. Good. <laughs> what would be hackathon without, like, a cutoff at inappropriate times? So, yeah, there's uh, the best dialogue from Sullivan coming up. There's a little romantic tension here, but that's whatever. So, yeah. This part. Wow, you, you look like hell. You should see the other guy. <laughs> Got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. Sully, it's definitely a good boat. Beautiful bite. son of a bitch. Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> So yeah, rest of this cutscene is kind of whatever. So uh, yeah, thanks for having me. It was uh, a lot of fun. Sorry you didn't get you I think coming up next is my good friend Heinke with Deus Ex. So you definitely should stay here because that run is pretty pog. And uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for having me, Hackathon. Even though this is going to be my last time. <laughs> Bible Cat 7. Yeah, Bible Cat 7. F's in chat for me. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Please enjoy the rest of the marathon. Don't forget to and donate. Thanks for having me. Of, of course, thanks for my super lovely commentator. Oh, thanks, you. thanks, Audi, for your donation. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything else. So uh, 
Enjoy the rest of Hackathon. Stay safe, stay cute, stay hydrated, stay lovely, stay whatever. Stay, stay. Stay here.